Hey everyone, welcome to Fourth and Forever. I'm Brennan, and man oh man, what a week in sports it's shaking out to be. Not only do we have the Heisman Trophy ceremony coming up on December 10th, but there's also been some crazy trades in the major leagues. There's been some wild finishes in the NFL as well, but first and foremost, let's get down to business and talk college football, specifically what's going on with this Heisman race. So we have five players on this Heisman list. Uh, we have Lamar Jackson, Baker Mayfield, Jabril Peppers, Deshaun Watson, and Dede Westbrook. Now, these are all players who definitely deserve to be here. However, there are some guys here that got here strictly because of fan votes. And there are others who were here because they simply lit it up this year. And one of those in particular is Lamar Jackson, Louisville's sophomore quarterback. This guy has been putting on a show this season. And the only downfall to uh, his, his Heisman resume would be his amount of turnovers that he's had this season. He's had a problem holding on to the ball. He's uh, made a couple of costly interceptions. But other than that, man, you look at his stats, 1,500 rushing yards, over 3,000 passing yards. And now we're going to go to our top five Christmas songs, which, of course, we all love them. And starting off with them, which one is your favorite, Mary-Kate? My favorite out of the all five on our top five is probably number mm -hmm. four, Santa Baby. Mm -hmm. I love that song personally because... Santa Baby. <laughs> <laughs> because growing up, I always listened to like my mom like whisper that to my dad or like see like the little music video of the kid catching the parents. And I mm -hmm. like thought of myself as a wife and like owning my own house and having that husband and just like... Being all cute and loving and singing <laughs> that song to him. So I've always loved that song just because it's a little sassy. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love it, too. It's a definitely a great song. What about you? Um, my favorite would definitely be All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. That is like a legend ever since I she know. sang I feel like song. that might be her most famous song. <laughs> because, oh, my God, that girl can literally hit those high notes. And I like can totally imagine myself singing that and getting those high notes which of course i don't but you know i'll put the volume all the way up and like Nobody pretend it's my you. voice <laughs> but yeah that's definitely one of my favorites hey everybody this is adam and i'm glenn and this is tech talk Uh, so what do we got today on our schedule, Adam? Um, well, we're going to be talking about the new studio and some of the changes, some of the new things that are coming in, some of the technology that we've got. That's awesome. Um, we actually have some new exciting things that have happened recently. Um, we just got some new computers in. Do you want to tell them about that? Yeah, so we got six six new Mac computers. and The 27-inch uh, iMac. Yeah, um, and... I got to admit, they look quite nice. They have the wireless keyboard and the, the wireless touch mouse, which is pretty yeah, interesting. I'm still a little iffy on that mouse. I'm, I'm the kind of guy who actually likes a peripheral, so I just carry my own mouse in my backpack and I just hook it up to the computer. Yeah, exactly. And and one of the things that I think a lot of people don't realize is that with the mouse wheel, it's reverse on a Mac, which is kind of strange. Yeah, that's one new thing because I've been a Windows guy all my life. I've never really gotten into Mac because I actually like to build my own computers. Right, I, I do too. Yeah, so I'm just, you know, I never really wanted to get into a Mac, so there are a couple tricks that I'm learning about these new machines. Do you think that they're a better machine to use? Um, well, I don't, hmm, let me think about that. I think for what we're doing, they actually do work out pretty well, if for no other reason than just the screen. It's a very good screen. Right. Um, it's, I think the ones that we have are the 5K screens, and um, the color is brilliant. Uh, the resolution is so amazing. Um, so when we're working with things like photos and videos, um, they're really good. As far as performance-wise, they actually seem to handle pretty well. As I've said, I've not used a whole lot of hands-on time with Mac. Um, I haven't really had any bugs or glitches with it so far. So I guess it's good. The only thing that concerns me is I wonder what's going to happen when I start doing video with like a lot of filters and stuff, but I've looked up enough things on YouTube to see like, hey, these things handle things just well in Premiere Pro. 